Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wildy Garden. And in this video, I wanted to bring you the results of the recent poll that was on the channel. But before I do, I thought I'd tell you a little bit where I am, about where I am first. It's a lovely little spot down in Essex. It's about 15 minutes walk from my house. It's the local tidal marshes. Great spot to come and watch birds and lots of other wildlife. Found a, a colony of um, marble white butterflies right up the top where I start my walk up there somewhere and uh, really chuffed to see those a couple of years ago and they are doing very well. I got about 20 or 30 individuals in one transect last year so a really nice healthy colony there. But these tidal marshes are really really good because of course the rise of the tide and when it goes back out of course leaves lots of insects and vertebrates for all the birds. So we get curlew here, I've just seen one background there that I flushed from some grass. Um, not deliberately, it was still a way out but obviously heard me walking the troublesome dogs <laughs> which was the other reason I came out is to give Luna the lunatic uh, quite aptly named and um, Siri who's the uh, the beast of the two shall we say he's the German Shepherd cross with the Alaskan Malamute so he's a big lad and um, yeah Luna is just full of energy she's nine months now so uh, <laughs> she's a Belgian Malinois and obviously they are known to be incredibly loyal and obedient uh, but very very energetic as well so a right handful she is but a wonderful wonderful dog that I wouldn't now be without but yes these are a great place to come and watch birds if you ever get a chance to visit any marshes or tidal marshes mud flats they're really really good as I say I've had curly on here I'm hoping that's the curly if you didn't know wonderful song wonderful bubbling call because it's the middle of March I'm kind of hoping that, that might be stopping around to breathe. There's some really nice areas behind me which are kind of uh, grasslands that I would expect to find because um, they don't actually flood. Some of these parts don't actually, the tide doesn't get high enough. Yeah, curlew again in the background. So I'm hoping the curlews might breed around here. There's also oyster catchers, red shank, had a pair of shell duck that just waded back out once was a lot turned up. Um, so it's a really nice place to come and see some wildlife and um, yeah, what a glorious evening this is. Obviously we're getting into the middle of March now. Um, thank you for all you guys that have been liking and um, subscribing to the channel. Obviously there's been a huge influx of followers recently, or subscribers should I say. Thank you to you all, it's really, really wonderful. Um, I am still compiling the, um, the video on all the wildlife ponds that have created off the back of this channel. So if you have already emailed in, I think there's at least 50 or 60 people that have emailed photos of ponds they've built because of watching the videos about how to build a wildlife pond on the channel from all around the world. So I'm I just astounded at that. It's absolutely fantastic to know that so many habitats are being created. So stay tuned to the channel. That is coming, that video. It's going to be a montage of all the wildlife ponds that you guys have created. So really looking forward to making that one. Um, but yes, I wanted to basically today give you the results of the recent poll. Now, some of you may remember me doing a poll. And incidentally, if you haven't seen it already, check out the... Um, sorry, I'm trying to get out of the sun a little bit. Uh, check out the recent community tab, I say recent, the community tab on the home page. Um, if you're new to YouTube or, YouTube or not quite familiar with it, if you go on my home page and scroll across on the right, you'll see a community tab. That's where I often do posts about um, all the upcoming stuff, what's going on on the channel, a little bit more additional info for you guys. So check that out. That's where I held the poll and I will be holding more polls, of course in the future no doubt um, and also on the home page one or two things i wanted to mention um, again if you're not familiar with youtube um, if you click on the tab that says videos it actually brings up the entire um, list of videos that i've created right back to day one nearly two years ago now uh, so that's a really good way to scroll through videos to see if you've missed any because i'm conscious that a few of you have said you've missed one or two videos i think it's because maybe you've only gone on the recent uploads section on the channel or you've not discovered some of the older vids um because if you're on the home page and you just scroll up it just has like playlists um you know shorts uh, recent uploads but if you click on videos you get the whole uh, catalog of videos that i've made anyway so the results of the poll uh, basically I asked you guys what would you like to see more of on the channel which I thought being as the channel is um, mostly for you guys you know and I want to inspire many people to create as many habitats as possible I thought it only wise to ask you what you'd like to see and 750 
plus of you wonderful people actually voted so thank you so much for that it's really nice to see so many of you getting involved um, and I wouldn't say the results were surprising but they were as follows so in fifth place um, with 14% of the votes was Wildflower Meadows which I feel a little bit sorry for Wildflower Meadows are wonderful wonderful habitat in their own right um, joint fourth and third um, was Garden Transformations and um, what trees, shrubs and um, plants are planted in your garden to attract wildlife. Um, in second place um, was additional habitats which had 23% uh, uh, no sorry in second place I've got that wrong. <laughs> second place was wildlife ponds which I was surprised about with 23% of the votes and in first place with 25% of the votes was additional habitats in your garden which I wouldn't say surprised me but yeah it's nice to know that you guys obviously um, want to know that information so out of the 750 of you that voted 25% of you um, I wouldn't say overwhelmingly because it was quite close voted for additional habitats what you can have in your garden on top of the wildlife um, ponds the wildflower meadows native trees and shrubs that sort of thing so I will be doing a few more videos on that. I've obviously recently uploaded the um, Insect Hotel. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this video uh, that I built in London last year, which is a really nice job I did. Um, but I think in addition to that, one of the comments that I got was that uh, from a lot of you, it said all of the above. So, <laughs> you know, I'm quite happy to carry on doing what I'm doing. And I think to have all of the above is really nice. It's a nice mix. Um, so. In essence, I hope this doesn't disappoint you. I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, just just carry on doing what I'm doing, give you a nice variety of topics. I think you'd probably all get a little bit bored if it was just pond after pond after pond after pond. As much as I love doing ponds, and I'm just on the 105th pond now um, in my career, just building that one uh, near Peterborough where I grew up. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm on my 105th pond. So they are wonderful, but I think it's nice to have that, you know, kind of, um, that break up in in kind of um, the different categories because it's just a nice nice feel to the channel I think let me know what you think obviously but uh, so I shall in essence continue to do what I'm doing creating a variety of videos for you guys from some of the flora and fauna that I obviously see the more specific videos where we are talking about an individual plant or an individual insect bird whatever that is because I think it's quite interesting to get some wonderful feedback on those um, you know the distinctive videos on the specific species so I, I quite like that feel um but yeah I, i'm i'm really chuffed with how things are going obviously we are just about to top twenty eight thousand subscribers so thank you so much to you all it really does mean the world to me to have all the support from you guys and um i'm really really chuffed with how everything's going i'm, I'm so glad to see so many habitats being created um but yes i did promise you the results of the recent poll so thought it only best that i bring you those so thanks again for everybody that voted and stay tuned to the channel lots more interesting content coming up uh, too, min too much to mention in this video some really really exciting news that i'm just about ready to reveal to you guys um but yes yeah, got some really cool stuff coming up this year so thank you as ever for enjoying the videos hopefully and thank you for the support thank you for liking the videos and obviously subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell you will be informed then of course every time i post a new video so thank you very much guys really appreciate it take care and i'll see you soon